Anjo and welcome to my July wrap up. Now before we jump in one thing if you've been here before that you will notice this has changed is my hair color yet again. Yes I'm blonde again now because apparently I can't make up my mind what color hair I want to have. <laughs> anyway yes so this happened, I will be doing some blog posts and videos and things about how I went from dark to light again and everything because I've managed to do it this time without actually damaging my hair so I'm rather proud of myself. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on to other important things in our wrap up, okay? So July, July was amazing um, for various different reasons. Uh, number one, I got interviewed for BBC Radio, which was just a last minute surprise thing that happened. Um, basically, for those of you that don't know, here in Rome, we've had like this huge heat wave where we've been like 42 degrees, 43 degrees plus humidity and stuff. So it's been like unbearable, basically and um so i happened to mention this one day on twitter and a journalist reached out to me and was like would you like to be interviewed for bbc radio um to talk about the heat wave and i was like sure why not got nothing else to do today so yeah let's do it and so i ended up being on the radio show um which was a very fun experience actually the hosts were lovely so anyway i will link up to a blog post that I did about surviving in the heat wave for those of you that are interested about this and you can also find the link to the BBC radio show as well in that blog post okay so that was exciting other exciting news is that I set a new personal best for traffic to my website as well joelinsdale.com hit 60,931 views for the month of July okay so it's just like oh, traffic to the site has gone crazy over the past couple of months and it just keeps getting better and better so I am so happy so so happy because I had all these things that I wanted to put into practice for the blog during the summer months while I was having a bit of a, a summer break from usual school stuff and and all of that and putting it into practice and it's like okay it sounded good in theory and it actually works in practice oh. so um, yes very very happy about that and plan is to keep higher better just keep going with this just keep going with it so I am super happy about my blogging results um, recently so there's that now on to my reading challenges now, I didn't read a lot in July. Predictable, I know. I mean, there always seems to be an excuse why I don't read as much as I wanted to read. I have a very hectic, busy life, people. It's just the way it is, and I'm just accepting that. Now, I'm never gonna be one of these people that reads hundreds of books in one month. It's not gonna happen. It didn't happen during COVID, it didn't happen uh, during the summer break it doesn't happen usually like anything can happen and I'm nothing is gonna be so that I can read that amount of books I don't know I just it's I'm not gonna be one of those people but that doesn't matter because it's not a competition who can read the most books um, it's about enjoying reading and I do so there you go um, <laughs> anyway um, so, talking about enjoying reading, I didn't read many books in July, but I did read good books, okay? They were all four-star reads for me, which is a little bit bizarre. I, I don't know when the last time I had a month where all of the books I gave a four-star rating to, like they all had the same rating. Uh, but anyway, so my clock reading challenge, I've made progress with that one, um, with The Eight Year Lie by J.M. Hewitt which is this one right here. Um, like I said, this one was a four star read. Uh, and this obviously gets me number eight on my clock reading challenge. Now I'm actually ahead of schedule for this reading challenge so far. Here you can see my update on my graphic here. 
for the clock reading challenge. If you want to know more about the clock reading challenge, I will also link up for you um, to the clock reading challenge post that I did originally and also another blog post that I did which gives suggestions of books you can read for each number uh, on it. So check those out. But anyway, this is my progress so far. I'm doing really well. I'm ahead of schedule. Um, I have no doubts that I will finish this challenge this year, probably early. Um, now also, the 8 year lie, that one also goes down from my net galley challenge, okay, because that was, that was from my net galley TBR. So that gets me progress on that challenge as well. It was also a really good book. Um, so I will at some point link up to a review specific for that book as well. Anyway, next book that I read in July was The Lie Between Us by Amanda McKinney, which is this one right here. Um, this one, again, was a four star read. Really enjoyed this one. This one is one that I picked up on Amazon when it was on a book. I don't know, did I pick this up on a free day or did I actually buy this one? I honestly can't remember. I know I got it from Amazon. Um, but really glad I did because it was a really good read. I really enjoyed this one. I would definitely be interested in reading more books by this author. Um, and then the next one that I read, again a four star read, was the second book in the Enola Holmes mystery series, which is the case of the left handed lady. Um, this one, I actually have a print copy of, which is what I read, I read the paper book for that one, but I should put up a graphic for you here because I can't be bothered to go and get the actual copy of the book off my shelf. Anyway, loving this series. Um, again, this one, I won this series in a giveaway a while back. Um, the publisher, Hockey Books, they sent me all six books in the series they were absolutely amazing i will link up to the um unboxings that i did for those so you can just see how awesome they are uh, but they sent me all of them so i'm working my way through those and very excited to read the other books i definitely want to read book three before it comes out the film version of it because the first two books i've seen the film version first um second book is very different to the film version of it so I want to read the third book before I get to Netflix and the, the new series from there so anyway that's my reading update for July um, like I said not much but all good so I'm counting that as a win uh, then travel stuff now I had a lot of plans travel wise for the summer um, July being so incredibly hot they basically during the heat wave here because it's been so hot they basically sent out alerts saying that don't leave your house between 10 o'clock and 6 o'clock um, in the evening so basically for the main part of the day unless you absolutely have to so it was like okay yeah don't really want to die of heat stroke just for the sake of going out so um yeah we spent a lot of time in the house with the air conditioning on um but we had i did take the boys to the beach again ostia beach um to be more specific stella polari which um i've also done a blog post about so if you do come to rome you want to do an easy beach day um, which is easy to get to, cheap to get to and everything from Rome Centre, then you can find out all about that there. So I will link that up for you as well. Um, so we did a bit more of that. Lovely. Um, we also had quite a few days at the pool. So we were actually quite lucky. Um, the area of Rome that I live in um, is near Cinecittà, so it's like the where the film studios are. Um, and we actually have a lot of parks, a lot of swimming pools and things nearby, open air swimming pools as well. Um, so this year I actually rediscovered one that I went to years ago but had somehow forgotten about. Um, and we discovered it just because the other pools that we had been going to were all completely full because obviously heat wave everyone was going to these swimming pools 
Um, and so we rediscovered this other one, and it is so much better than all the other ones. I don't know how I managed to forget about it and why we didn't go, but anyway, so we rediscovered this, which is La Torre um, swimming pool, and so we've been going there as well, which is lovely, which takes me on to my next update, which is my fitness aspect. Now, if you remember, I have had the goal of getting healthier, just like in general, because my health in recent years really sucks. I've had so many different issues with allergies and hormone imbalance and almost dying from COVID twice, digestive issues, which again, almost killed me. Um, so I've had a lot of bed rest and things like that. And it's just been a bit of a real struggle um, to be healthy and you know get exercise and things like that so anyway now that um, if you remember from recent updates um, actually worked out the cause of a lot of my issues and stuff and have solutions for those so now I actually have a bit more energy and I'm actually managing to do a bit more movement and things as well so I have increased the amount of walking that I'm doing during the day my steps are definitely doing better Sorry about the barking dogs, they've just gone crazy. It's the neighborhood I live in, people. Um, and again, we went to the swimming pool. And whilst at the swimming pool, um, my kids, both of them, used to do professional swimming. So we've done national, we've done international swimming competitions and things in the past. Um, they stopped because of COVID, but obviously they're still very good swimmers. Um, and so going to the pool, we end up having races and stuff between us. So I have actually done a lot of swimming when we've been going to the swimming pool. I haven't just been sunbathing. <laughs> I have actually been swimming a lot, doing a lot of uh, lengths of swimming pool, which is great. I also, um, on one of the trips, took my mother-in-law with me. And so we did some like water gym kind of thing to try and get her moving a bit as well, which was kind of fun. So I got more exercises in there as well. I've also been doing um, some arm exercises because, I don't know, you get to a certain age, people, <laughs> there comes a point in your life and you're sort of like, no, my arms are wider and looser than I want them to be. It happens. It happens. And so, yeah, need to tone these babies up. So I've got some, um, they're very light weights, it's, only, it's one kilogram I think or something like that, two kilogram weights. Um, so I've been doing like some round the world, bicep curls, um, tricep kickbacks, you know, the standard routine thing. I've been trying to get in um, some of them most days um, and I have seen some improvement. I have some since the movie is starting to tone up a little bit I need to be better about doing it like every day um, and maybe increasing like the weights as well as the number of repetitions doing it and getting there I have made progress though I have made progress I definitely want to do some more progress um, and in fact for August I have some set fitness uh, challenges that I want to do. I have some apps on my phone and I'm going to be doing some of the workouts and things from that so I will let you know how they go. <laughs> anyway, I've also found some stuff on Pinterest and YouTube and things as well that I want to try out. Um, so we'll be doing that. I'd like to do some like yoga and Pilates kind of stuff um, as well. We shall see. But I have, I have lots of plans on that. But my, my big goal for the summer was to get moving more and start doing exercise just like in general because I hadn't done any for so long. And I'm on schedule with that. I'm doing stuff. I am doing stuff. And um, I have to say, I've actually really enjoyed the swimming in the pool as well because it had been a while since I'd been swimming um, to actually like swim, swim and I really enjoyed it and I could really feel it like exercising me as well so um, I'm considering also like maybe September kids go back to school and I think maybe signing myself up to do some swimming sessions 
or something because I did really enjoy it. <laughs> so I think that that could be on the cards. I may have found the the sport that I want to do uh, on that. Also, um, past couple of days, it's actually freshened up a little bit. So whereas we were like 40, 45 degrees um, up till the last week, um, it suddenly dropped quite considerably. So we're now like 30, 35, which is so much more doable. Um, you can actually breathe. There's actually a little bit of a breeze. It rained for like two days and I was so happy. I'm talking like a dean. It was just like, oh, it's raining. Yeah, I never thought, being, being in it from the UK, I never thought that I would be excited for it to rain. Seriously, it's like it goes against my nature. <laughs> you know, growing up in England, it was like, it was always raining and it's like, you know, you really want the hot sunny days. Um, whereas here in the summer, because it's like so much, you, you finally get a rainy day and you're like, oh, hallelujah, <laughs> this is amazing. So, um, yeah, that's been nice. And so it's cooled off a bit. So I'm actually managing to do stuff again which uh, is exciting so hopefully my August progress will be even better than my July stuff so anyway that is my July wrap up I hope you've enjoyed this video um, if you have any comments to share about any of this please do get in touch leave them down below because um, I would love to hear from you uh, if you have any like particular fitness stuff that you've been doing maybe a really good workout video or something that you've seen that you think I should check out or I don't know maybe there's an app that you use or challenges that you've been doing that you think are really good then um, please let me know about those um, also your reading challenges how are you guys doing with your reading challenge are you doing the clock reading challenge if not why not okay let me know about your progress for those as well um, and you know what are you getting up to during the summer months have you been traveling? What's the weather been like where you are? I don't know, maybe you got interviewed for a radio or <laughs> went on the TV or something. I don't know, share with me your experiences. What what did you do in July that um, was awesome? Also, as far as blogging goes, what are your traffic goals for August? Um, did you hit your July traffic goals? What are you doing to like increased views and things like that as well. I did actually have someone reach out to me recently who was asking about how I'm managing to get uh, so much traffic to my blog, especially now that I'm no longer a niche blog, but I've gone into like lifestyle blogging as more general. I have more topics on it now than I used to have, um, which apparently I'm like against the, the grain here because normally they tell you that you need to be a niche blog um, in order to get all the traffic when actually I've moved away from being a niche blog and become a multi niche blog and my traffic has exploded like big time so um, I think I'm going to do a separate video to talk about all of that and everything that I'm doing and blah, 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 um, because that it, it will we'll go more into it in that I think um, so I will do a separate video about that to share more information about what I'm doing, how I'm going about it, and all the rest of it. Um, so, but if you do have any more questions about stuff like that, then please do feel to reach out to me because when people do ask me these different questions about blogging stuff or travel or whatever, um, I use those also to then create content so that I can answer those questions for you because I'm pretty sure if one person's asking a question, they're not the only person that wants to hear an answer to it. So if you do have any questions, please do let me know and I will do my best to answer them for you. So anyway, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next video.